better late than never. One month after her planned start date, Ursula van der Leyen is preparing to take office. A bumpy beginning. Van der Leyen has already fallen short on her pledge to deliver a gender-balanced team. There'll be 11 women and 15 men. But will it be a house of cards? Van der Leyen, well, you could call her the Queen. She takes over from Jean-Claude Juncker as President of the European Commission. She loved three vice presidents. Think of them as vice kings and queens from the big European political families. The socialist Franz Timmermans takes the lead on the European Green Deal. He'll have a health, agricultural, transport, energy and environment commissioner at his disposal. This Lithuanian man is only 29 years old. He'll be the youngest commissioner. The Liberal Margaret Versteyer will take the lead on digital and competition. Working to her will be Thierry Breton on internal market, Maria Gabrielle on innovation and youth, Helena Daly on equality, Ilva Johansson on home affairs. Conservative Vladis Dombrovsky will take charge of the EU's economy. Beneath him will be Paolo Gentiloni, Nicholas Schmidt on jobs, Elisa Ferreira on cohesion and reforms, and Phil Hogan, who takes on trade. A portfolio to watch as the UK seeks a trade deal with the bloc. And then the joker in the bloc, perhaps. The British government, refusing to send a commissioner despite being a full member for now. And dealt a bad hand, Margarita Skinas, who found himself at the centre of a row over his job title. Protecting our European way of life has now been changed to promoting the European way of life. And other cards up Ursula van der Leyen's sleeves is the Spanish Foreign Affairs Minister Joseph Borrell. And ensuring rule of law will be the Czech woman Vera Rova and Belgian politician Didier Reinders. Ursula van der Leyen hopes to unite the European Union. But could the cards be stacked against her? Maeve McMahon, Euronews.